where to go after being released from jails? This could be a big question for many people. But for dozens of people, this halfway house is the answer. Many ex-prisoners find it hard to live a different life after they have spent years behind bars. It takes courage and guidance from other people in order that they will not fall into the same pit. That is what the House of Socius has been doing. It offers those who just leave penitentiaries some necessary skills before going back to the society. Founded in 2008 by Catholic layman Johannes Bambang Mudiarto, with support of his colleague Ferry Yusuf Lubis, the house has accommodated dozens of ex-prisoners and prepares them with some basic skills to regain self-confidence. This center shares visions for empowerment among ex-prisoners that once got involved in various crimes, mostly drug abuse, and for making social activity for them, regardless their ethnic and religious backgrounds. Bambang himself was jailed for nine months for bringing sharp weapon in public place without any official document, and was freed in December 1998. The main reason why I founded this facility is my concern for those being released from jails. They don't know what to think, where to go and what to do. Another reason is my own experience. I was blind at all after I was released from jail. There was no place for me. There was no facility which I could use to survive. Put reasons encourage me to establish this house. Since its establishment, the house has trained more than 40 ex-prisoners aged between 18 and 54 years old. Most of them have returned to the society and live on their own. The length of their stay in the house is between 6 and 12 months. They principally learn how to make status, but it doesn't mean neglecting other potentials. The house helps those who want to be drivers or those who want to finish high school by taking non-classroom study programs. Upon leaving the center, some of them work as drivers, sailors, and mechanics. Malik Ibrahim, a 22-year-old boy from Demak in central Java that was jailed for more than two years in May 2008 for possession of marijuana, said that he came to the center upon the recommendation of a correctional officer. Malik is happy with the activities he has been doing at the center and believes it will help him and other ex-prisoners cope up the new life when they go back to the society. I am really thankful that I am given motivation here, learn to be honest and disciplined, and adapt myself to society. Ex-prisoners usually lack self-confidence, sometimes feel afraid, worried, and desperate. But here, I am encouraged to have self-confidence and learn how to cope up with life. It's like a new life. While staying at the house of Socius, the residents do house chores on their own, such as cooking and cleaning. Each resident also gets monthly allowance of 600,000 to 1 million rupiah, or about 63 to 105 US dollars, depending on their skills in making status, which is used to cover their personal needs. According to Bambang, it's not been easy to manage a center that spends more than it gets. However, he is thankful because individuals and groups such as religious communities and parishes in Jakarta Archdiocese buy the status, rosaries, and crosses they produce. At the center, the residents make status that resemble the Nativity, Pieta, Mother Mary, Saints, and Angels. They also make wooden rosaries, crosses, and miniatures of different churches. Each can make up to five small statues a day, but it takes more than a month to create bigger ones.
The presence and life of ex-prisoners at the House of Socius has been known to people in the neighborhood. For example, Abdul Nazir, who lives nearby the house, admitted that he had never thought he would have ex-prisoners as his neighbors. As neighbor and as a friend, I see that what they do and what's been going on here is good. The neighborhood also recognize it. This is Katarina Rani Lestari reporting with Rian Jagur from Bekasi, West Java, Indonesia. Thank you.